In today's video, I will be doing one of my favorite techniques. It's the kiss pour technique, and I'm gonna be using a couple of my spouted cups that I've designed myself. So if you like what you see, keep watching. You're in for a treat. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm working on a 14 by 18 canvas and I have got all of my colors here. The first one I've got is from DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. I'm just showing it to you. I don't have the um, jar anymore. I ran out so that's what I've got in there. In this cup is just a gorgeous gorgeous color. It's one of my favorites. It's from Blick and it, it is metallic teal. The next one is a yellow, and I'm going to show you that one there too, open that up. Um, it's a combination of two, I've got the fine touch yellow medium, and then I got a little sample from Golden, and it's a yellow light. Uh, this one here, uh, I made this one with two colors as well. That one I just added some Vallejo Pearl Medium with Liquitex Basics Primary Red, it gave it a little pink. Um, shimmery to it. The next one is a dark blue. It is a Prussian blue hue from Liquitex. And then I'm going to be using bare satin enamel with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White as my cloud effect mix. And I've got two of my 3D printed spouted cups that I will be using. So I'm just going to start layering my paints. All of my paints are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium. Floetrol and water and I usually the way that I usually mix that is 50% um, Liquitex 40% Floetrol and 10% water now I did change it it used to be a little bit more Liquitex but I uh, adjusted that just a little bit recently all right, so while I am filling the cups, I just wanted to give a big thank you to some of my fellow artists that have been using my 3D printed products. Um, let's see, Tammy Anderson, um, Canela Siraco, uh, Kathleen Osmore, I've got Lisa from Harmony House, uh, Tish from Naptime Creations, Dwight from Dwight Pours, Kristen from Kristen's Creations, and also Christina Welch. I hope that I have not forgotten anyone. And also to everyone that has made a purchase and, and bought some of my stuff, I do really, really appreciate your support. Um, I did put a lot of time and thought into creating all of my 3D printed products. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> um, because I use them and I want them to be the best that they can be not just for me but also for all other acrylic pouring artists all right so again i do thank you and appreciate all of you guys and if you are new to my channel i do create 3d printed products that are um, useful for acrylic pouring besides my cups I also have swipe tools and a nozzle for the mini leaf blower I also have canvas levelers all kinds of stuff my links will be in the description so go check those out and I would appreciate your subscription if you are new and if you already subscribe I do thank you um, so here we go I'm just gonna start moving this around these colors look amazing they're so pretty this is one of my favorite techniques I love a good kiss pour I really have been kind of feeling like I've been in a slump and um, a kiss pour for me just brings me right out of it I'd love to hear what your go-to pour is so let me know in the comments below all right, so I am really loving how this is looking so far. I love the um, detail that I've got and the way the colors blended. It's super, super pretty. All right, I'm just going to let you guys finish watching this, and I will be back in a jiff.
Okay guys, here we go with the dried photos and I absolutely love this. I think it looks amazing. The colors are gorgeous. I love the composition of it as well. Uh, you guys can just see that pink is so pretty right there. And then I love that top corner right there. It looks so pretty. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also share this video if there's someone that you think may enjoy it. It really does help me out and help out my channel. And for those of you that don't know, I have a Facebook group called Acrylic Pouring with Friends the same name as my YouTube channel so that's a little easy to remember all right I recommend you guys go check that out a lot of talented artists there and it's quite a helpful group all right and also if you are interested in any of my 3d printed products the link is in the description and I've got a bunch more videos I know you will enjoy as well and I'll catch you in the next one